And today I'm going to be doing a very special unboxing. So as a birthday present to myself, I decided to go on eBay and buy a mystery historic romance box. <laughs> um, I'm really excited. I'm also really nervous. I remember I asked for some Lisa Kleypas books. I asked for some pretty setbacks. Also floral covers because I really like floral covers. So we'll see what I get. <laughs> okay, we're going to open it over here first. <laughs> Goodness, that's so nice. Contacted the seller uh, for this box and they were so sweet and they wrote happy birthday and <laughs> put a big bow on here. That's so nice. So this is so sweet. Look at that. That's so nice. I'm like sweating. I'm so hot right now. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh my gosh. It has some really pretty tissue paper. Okay, I see so many books in here. Okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> I'm so excited. So on the top, ooh, look at this cover. Okay, I haven't heard of this one. I probably won't hear about or know of a lot of these, but I'm very excited. Okay, so this one is called The Last War Black by Karen Ranny. And here's the very pretty step back. Katerina Cameron was once famed for her seductive beauty and charm. Now she saw no one hiding from the world and no one dared break through her self-imposed exile. No one that is until Mark Thornburn burst into her home and Katerina's darkened world began to have color again. Thornburn secretly the heir to an earldom claimed he was a footman, but Katerina didn't care about that scandal their passion would cause. For his very touch sparked her back to a life of sensuality, one she thought she'd never have again. Little does she know that Mark is a part of a masquerade, one that will end when they become the target of a madman set on revenge. Mark realizes he will have to do more than win her love. He will have to save her life as well. This is an Avon romance. Very excited, really good. Okay, let's do this one. This one, who has like a pretty, like painted cover. This one is called Evening Class by Maeve Benchy. They came together at Mountain View College, a down at the heels secondary school on the seamy side of Dublin to take a course in Italian. It was Latin teacher Aidan Dunn's last chance to revive a failing marriage and a dead end career. But Aiden's dream was headed for disaster until the mysterious Singora appeared, transforming a shared passion for Italy into a life-altering adventure for them all. Bank clerk Bill and his dizzy fiancée, Lizzie, a couple headed for trouble. Kathy, a hard-working innocent, propelled into adulthood in a shocking moment of truth. Connie, the gorgeous, rich lady with a scandal ready to explode. Glowering Lulu, who joined the class as a cover up for crime, and Signora, whose passionate past remained a secret as she changed all their lives forever. I don't know if this is necessarily a romance book, but it seems very interesting still. Okay, let's do this one. <gasps> Y'all, this might just like take the cake for this whole box. You ready for this? We have a Johanna Lindsay. We have Warrior's Woman. Look at that cover. Look at that cover. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. In the year 2139, Fearless Tedra de R sets out to rescue her beleaguered planet Kistrian from the savage rule of the evil Crad Makor. Experienced in combat but not in love, the beautiful untouched Amazon flies with Martha, her wise, cracking, free-thinking computer, to a world where warriors reign supreme and into the arms of the one man she can never hope to vanquish, the bronzed barbarian Chalon Lysander. Lysander, there you go. A magnificent creature of raw yet disciplined desires, the muscle-bound primitive succeeds where no puny Kistrin male has before, igniting a raging fire within Tedra that must be extinguished before she can even think of saving her own enslaved world. So I think this is the one book that I've heard on booktube that like is a, her sci-fi one. I love sci-fi romance so this is perfect. This whole box is worth it now just because of this book. 
just because of this book. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is like my new like treasure now. <laughs> okay, let's do this one. This one's called Dara Joy. No, this is by Dara Joy. It's called Rajar. Lord Byron thought he was captivating. The fashionable matrons blushed behind their fans at a glimpse of his hard form and nobody knew where he came from. His startling eyes, one gold, one blue, promised a wicked passion and his voice was almost a purr. There was only one thing a woman thought when looking at a man like that, sex. And there was only one woman he seemed to want. In her wildest dreams, Lilac never guessed that bringing a stray cat into her home would soon leave her stroking the most wanted man in 1811 London. That sounds really good i've never heard of this before okay let's do this one. Ooh, oh that looked like a step back but it's not a step back anyway um this one is the magic by robin lee hatcher see i thought this was a step back that there would be a hole in there but it's not but it's the same thing on the inside which is very pretty Ooh, it's a pirate romance the pirate determined to ruin farley dunworthy captain damien of the magic would use any means at his disposal even his enemy's innocent niece but the daring buccaneer never imagined never bargained on being captivated himself by the silver-haired beauty the lady destined for a loveless marriage to a virtual stranger cassandra jameson found herself instead swept aboard a notorious pirate ship and into its captain's arms how could she hope to resist the most devastatingly seductive man she'd ever encountered the magic isolated in the intimacy of the ship's cabin they were both lovers and enemies facing a past filled with lies and greed and revenge but no matter how turbulent the uncharted waters of their hearts damien and cassandra would find a safe haven and the magic of love. That sounds so good. Y'all, this box is fantastic. This sounds amazing. I've been wanting to read pirate romances, so A plus. <laughs> Let's do this one. Ooh, this one's pretty. Okay, I think I saw Kayla from On the Fritz talk about like the zebra books, like the zebra imprint. And I think this is one of them. So this one's called Midnight Sins by Evelyn Rogers. This is a very old school. Cover. Nothing in Russia had prepared young widowed Lana Alexander for the uncivilized chaos of San Francisco, where she had come to track down her scoundrel brother and the priceless ruby he's absconded with. And nothing in her sterile marriage to a cruel count had prepared her for Tony Diamond, the brash entrepreneur who insisted on helping her despite her protests, was as infuriating as he was fascinating. Perhaps American women felt for his arrogant confidence in his own charms but lana for one had more important matters in her mind than how it felt to be in his arms to return his kisses and give in to the wanton desires of her heart tony diamond had no intention of letting the haughty russian beauty out of his sight he had his own reasons for wanting to catch up with her never do well brother and if it took cozying up to the proud countess to keep her off balance he could think of less pleasant ways to spend his nights, especially once he felt that aristocratic reserve melt beneath his expert touch and proved that she was all woman when it came to midnight sins. Looks so good. I'm so excited. Y'all, this box is really good. Let's do this one. Okay, I've heard of this author. This is Judy McNaught, Until You, a very pretty shimmery cover. Oh, so it looks like it's part of a series. A teacher in a school for wealthy young ladies, Sheridan Bromley, is hired to accompany one of her students, heiress Sharice Lancaster, to England to meet her fiance. When her young charge elopes with a stranger, Sheridan wonders how she will ever explain this to Cherie's intended Lord Burlton. Standing on the pier, Stephen Westmore, the Earl of Langford, assumes the young woman coming towards him is Cherise Lancaster and informs her of the inadvertent role in a fatal accident involving Lord Burlton the night before. And just as Sheridan is about to speak, she steps in the path of a cargo net loaded with crates. Three days later, Sheridan awakes in Stephen Westmore's London mansion with no memory of who she is. The only hint of her past, the puzzling fact that everyone calls her Miss Lancaster. All she knows is that she's falling in love with a dazzling, handsome English Earl in that the life unfolding before her seems full of wondrous possibilities. That sounds really fun. Okay, I'm trying to find where to stack all of them. I guess I'll do it right here. Let's do this one. Ooh, another pretty one. Okay, we have Heaven's Gift by Janelle Dennison. This very pretty. 
cover. The last thing JT Rafferty expected when he awoke from a concussion was to find a beautiful stranger tending to his wounds. She saved his life, but the lovely Caitlin Daniels had some serious explaining to do, like how she had ended up on his isolated ranch lands miles from civilization. Despite his wariness, JT found himself increasingly drawn to Caitlin, whose gentle touch promised sweet satisfaction. She was passionate and independent and utterly enchanting, but Caitlin also had a secret. And when JT finally discovered the shocking truth, he'd have to defy heaven and earth to keep her close to his heart. Very, very, very pretty. I like the the little flowers at the bottom too. All these covers are so pretty. <gasps> okay, let's do, ooh, another pretty one. <gasps> I've never seen this one. It looks like it's another zebra, a zebra romance. I guess it's just a um, imprint like Avon, I guess, but a different one, obviously. This one is called Pirates of Wild Paradise by Kate Douglas. Very pretty. Daughter of infamous Henry Morgan, beautiful Jamie Morgan could hold her own against any pirate on the high seas. Another pirate romance? Well, obviously from the title. I did not put two and two together. <laughs> Except Franco de Corta. The handsome Spaniard bested her with his saber, then spared her life at the risk of his own. His compassion unsettled her. The desire in his dark eyes intrigued her, but Jamie had treasured her independence too long to surrender in the heat of passion. Though she would yield to the dizzying sensations he aroused in her innocent flesh, she swore she'd never give him her heart. Franco de Corta was enthralled by the spirited vixen who now held him captive, body and soul. Her violet eyes sparkled with mischief and daring. Her ebony tresses traced about her creamy shoulders as she frolicked in the surf. It would take more than sweet promises to tame this temptuous beauty, but Franco knew exactly how to make her his. With soul-searing kisses and masterful caresses he would tempt her with, the ecstasy that awaited them both in a seductive, unforgettable pirate's wild paradise. Again, another beautiful cover. The spine is pretty too. I haven't even looked at these spines, dude. The spines are pretty too. I love all the bright colors. Okay, let's do this one. Ooh, steamy cover. Oh, okay. It's Lorraine Heath. I've heard things about Lorraine Heath. Known widely for his prowess in the bedroom, Morgan Lyons, the eighth Earl of Westcliff, cannot forgive an unpardonable affront to his honor. Discovering his young bride in the arms of his brother was a staggering blow, so he banished the beautiful deceiver to the country and devoted himself to the pursuit of carnal pleasures. Claire Lyons was an innocent, frightened girl on her wedding day, seeking chaste comfort from a childhood friend. Now, years later, she has blossomed magnificently and has returned to London with one goal in mind, the seduction of her notorious husband. Unskilled in the sensual arts, she burns nonetheless for the kisses too long denied her, and she has but one season to win back the heart of a rogue she betrayed. Very pretty. I've heard great things about Lorraine Heath, so hopefully I really like this one. Okay, let's do this one. This one looks very interesting. Okay. This one has, I think, some water damage. Um, it's kind of bent here, but that's okay. Um, it's sprayed yellow, but then I think it's just aged um, because this part's not. The step back is just like old time photographs. This one's called The Duchess Windsor, The Secret Life by Charles. Oh my gosh, is this by The Prince? Oh, whoa, is this actually about like a real person? The Duchess of Windsor, that sounds so familiar. Please don't tell me like I'm missing something like I don't know who the frick this is. I know nothing about the British monarchy. Well, I don't know about the British monarchy like in the more recent times. She was Wallace Warfield Simpson, Duchess of Windsor, the woman for whom an impassioned Edward VIII gave up his throne. Okay, so it is about a real person. That's very interesting. I'm actually really intrigued. Maybe I'll learn more about the British monarchy through all of this. Let's do... Ooh, this cover is pretty. This one is called Flame by Evelyn Rogers. Very, very pretty cover and even a very pretty back as well. I haven't looked at the backs of these books either. Oh, I need to go back and look at the back of the books. Lovely Flame Chadwick was bound for the sun-scorched trials of West Texas. Ooh, it's a Texas romance. I live in Texas. I haven't read a Texas historical yet, so. In search of her charming, high-born fiance, he'd taken her innocence in a fleeting moment of passion and had ridden out of her life, leaving her to bear his child. Waiting on the lawless frontier was a very different kind of man. 
honor bound to grant a friend's dying request rugged army scout matt jackson agreed to a marriage in name only to the headstrong beauty called flame lean of body broad of shoulder bold of spirit matt promised flame protection yet soon a white hot fire was tempting them both to surrender to desire in a land of outlaws and indians flame would have to learn to trust this handsome stranger she called husband only then would she face an enemy who threatened all her dreams and surrender her heart to glorious untamed love that cover is gorgeous um, that sounds really good is this 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 another uh, zebra historical romance i guess that's what like these things mean at the top let's do this one this is a tiny one this is the lion's shadow by elizabeth hunter this is a very tiny book very old school cover coming home to venice was like coming home almost in spite of herself Gemma savage found herself falling in love with venice she felt immediately at home living in the decaying palazzo a relic of another time with the grandmother she had never known only arrogant Marco Antonoli remained to torment her. Marco, the man who forced her to leave England and who now seemed determined to make her his wife despite his obvious attraction to another woman. She knew that Marco was the man she could love, but with his one-sided definition of marriage, was he a man she could trust her heart with? Very interesting. I've never seen this book before. Very tiny, very short. Let's do this one. Oh my gosh, we got another gem. We got another gem, holy crap. <gasps> I've seen this one everywhere, are you serious? It is Tender as the Storm by Johanna Lindsay. <gasps> Look at that cover. <laughs> I've seen this one on Instagram all the time. This is fantastic. Okay. <laughs> Sharice Hammond had no intention of giving herself to some rancher who had sent for only a mail order bride. She had gone west only to escape the New York Society marriage her father was arranging. Lucas Holt's intentions were also less than honest, but their plans to use each other were soon complicated by unspoken desire. He never expected her to be so stunningly beautiful, and she never expected to want any man so much, while Lucas forced Charisse to play in a dangerous game of revenge against the man who killed his father. She forced him to feel passions he could no longer control. Yet when her family asked her to return to New York, Lucas couldn't find the words to ask her to stay. Only when their stubborn hearts felt the pain of loss and separation did they know, did they come to know how completely they loved each other. And despite the distance and time and misunderstanding between them, they somehow had to be together. I can't get enough of this cover. It's so pretty. I don't even care if like it's like damaged on the front a little bit. I don't care. Oh, and has that old book smell. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh, okay. It looks like this might be a western. This one is called Fraser's Clay by Anna Lee. I love her purple dress. When Yankee beauty Rebecca Elliott discovers that single women aren't allowed on the wagon train bound for California, she takes desperate measures. Spying handsome Clay Fraser, she puts her flirty plan into action and wakes the next morning with a wedding band on her finger. Clay Frazier, a former Confederate soldier, is horrified to discover that he somehow got married last night, and worse, to a Yankee. Worst of all, his new wife refuses to share his bed. <laughs> Sparks fly and attraction burns as the wagon train heads west, but it will take a love as expansive as the western sky to show Rebecca and Clay how to claim the passion new life that is their destiny. That sounds really funny. Like, this sounds like a really funny historical. I'm very excited for this. Another very pretty cover. Um, this one is called Crayol Caress by Elizabeth Lee. Hopefully I'm pronouncing this right. Um, but another very pretty steamy cover. Having lost her beloved stepfather and inherited all of his debts, beautiful Jenna Merchant had no choice. She had to turn to the one man who could help her, the arrogant Reagan Branick. But could she trust him and her own instincts, especially since she hardly knew the tall, lean stranger and her desire for him overrode her good sense. She wanted him, needed to feel his strong hands touching her, and desperately hoped that when she gave herself to her handsome, suave, would-be business partner, she would not live to regret it. The ebony-haired Crayole Beauty was unlike any other woman Reagan Branick had ever known. Yet, if the only way to possess her was to assume her debts, he would do it, for he was lost to her charms, her sweet, pouting mouth, her gentle, melodic voice. He ached to caress her full, ripe curves, to stroke 
her long slender legs and to bury himself in that sick, silky softness of her body. And he knew that once he took her in his arms, he would never want to leave her. Another historical, that sounds amazing. <laughs> I have no idea what I was so nervous about. Like everything is great so far. Next we have Wanted Across Time by Eugenia, Eugenia Riley. This is the cover and the cover, the couple, sorry, is on the back of this one. Where's the summary then? Oh, okay, it's on the inside flap, okay. Annie Dillon didn't know what else could possibly go wrong. First, her dream of returning to Texas ghost town and to a tourist attraction left her broken, stranded, in deadened, and now a freak whirlwind has granted her wish for better, simpler times by sweeping her off to an earlier century and depositing her into the arms of an arrogant, infuriating bounty hunter named Sam Noble. At least he's caught the feisty lady outlaw known throughout the West as Rotten Rosie, but the crafty criminal whom Sam has apprehended is more than brazen and beautiful. She's plumb logo to boot, claiming to be the great, great, great granddaughter of the hell cat he's been searching for. But while her wileys and willfulness have his head spinning, her fiery sensuality is turning his rage into desire. And though the law wants Rosie dead or alive, Sam knows he wants her only one way for always. That sounds really good. Um, let's do... Why did it, there's a Pokemon card in here. Why is there a Pokemon card in here? I don't play Pokemon. <laughs> That's kind of strange. Um, oh, okay. This one is called Savage Embers by Cassie Edwards. Very shimmery cover. And then there is the step back when you open it. I love that step back. Before him in the silvery moonlight, she appeared as if a vision. Her hair, a vivid shock of red, her eyes, a blazing blue. And from that moment, a love like wildfire rushed through his blood. No one to be denied, the mighty Arapaho chieftain would claim the woman, brand her soul with his smoldering adder, and fan the flames of his unquenchable desire. Yet even as Falcon Hawk sheltered Maggie in his heating embrace, the enemy waited to smother their searing ecstasy, to leave them nothing but the embers the love that might have been oh okay so he is a native american i haven't really been wanting to buy ones um about native americans because there are some authors that just aren't good about writing like it's kind of offensive um which i've heard i've never read one but that's what i've heard um so hopefully this is not the case okay we have two more in here i'm looking at the covers let's do this one we have emerald Enchantment by Patricia Grosso. Very pretty cover, and it's really cool. The the couple like like comes out of the page, like you can feel it. It's kind of like text, but they also feel like that. That's really cool. I love her dress. <gasps> so pretty okay a vulnerable young widow of a hot-tempered irish chieftain catherine deverto sought her children's safety in marriage to her late husband's ambitious nephew hugh o'neill who won an earldom with their union now countess of tyron catherine concealed her feelings from her charismatic husband remembering the terrible fury of her first husband's love she feared hugh could never give her the tenderness she yearned for dazed by the beauty of his delicate bride the earl of tyron was incensed as she shunned the marriage bed. No sooner had he shown Catherine the loving kindness she craved than she was kidnapped by a vengeful kinsman. <laughs> Hugh's daring raid rescued his lovely countess from her lust maddened captor, but the secret of her knights as a hostage haunted Catherine and Hugh before they knew there was only one way to regain her trust and rekindle her desire. That sounds really good. That sounds really good. I'm really excited for this. It doesn't hurt that the cover is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, the last book in this box is Rebel Wind by Leanne Grayson. Another beautiful cover. Faith McAllister was a woman alone in a war-torn Northern Virginia, trying desperately to keep her family together and her farm intact. The last thing she needed at Eden's Gate was a stranger in her house, a stranger whose presence could mean disaster. Devlin Maddox was a man with no loyalties and no ties. He answered only to himself and gave his heart to no one. The only thing he had on his mind was revenge, and 
his arrival at Eden's gate was no accident. When there was everything to lose and nothing to gain, when trust had vanished in the face of war, when a moment of passion might be the last, only love can melt a hardened heart and bring the hope of mourning. So it looks like this one is an American historical, which I haven't read any of. No, I've read one, but I'm very interested to read more. There you have it. Those are the very many books that I got off of eBay. This is a total, total steal. I'm so excited for all these books and for them to be in my collection. <laughs> Again, if you wanna go check out the box, um, I'm linking it down below. He was super nice, super sweet. He reached out to me to make sure he got the book term right because I put step back in there and he wasn't 100% sure what I meant by that. So I clarified and he was really nice, really understanding. And um, he was so sweet to, to like write happy birthday to me. That was super duper nice. He did not have to do that. Also, I forgot to even mention at the beginning because I was so excited. Um, sorry for my crusty dusty look. I've been studying and doing homework and schoolwork, so. I've not put on makeup in a very long time, <laughs> but I was super excited to open this box. Thank y'all so, so much for watching. Please let me know down below if you are interested in any of these books. I'd love to know. Um, but anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye.